everyone and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Lily and today we're going to talk about a puffer vest that I purchased from Quince. Um, I wanted to share with you, you know, my thoughts on it and also do a little comparison with the two existing aloe vests that I currently have just to see, you know, if you're in the market for a puffer vest, what type of vest to look at. I actually have been looking at Quince for quite a lot of different things just because it's a lot more affordable. The quality has been very nice for all the items that I purchased and yeah, I'm just really happy with my purchases from Quince. So sharing my first impressions, thoughts on this, and uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this puffer vest, um, I forget the name, but I will link all the um, information in the description box below so you can take a look at it yourself. But I believe it came in three different colors. It came in a taupe, a black, one more color that I don't remember right off the top of my head right now. But at the time when I looked, it was three colors. I got the taupe color one, and I think it's really nice. I don't have any taupe colored um, vests in my collection currently. I have bright pink, muted pink, black, um, sort of a mustard yellow, um, and you know, that's pretty much it. So I don't have any coats with this color, and I thought, you know, this would be a nice addition to my um, collection. And what I really like about this vest is that, you know, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Lululemon, but um, for a fraction, maybe not a fraction, but maybe for like at least half um, the price of Lululemon. Now, this is more of a long line um, puffer vest. And I will, you know, uh, model it for you so you can kind of see how it fits on my frame. But basically, um, this I got in a small. It is not a cropped version. I will talk about the aloe one in a bit so you can kind of see that comparison. But for those of us who kind of like a longer length but not super long, I think this will be a pretty good alternative. So I have the tags on here still um, because I'm still debating on the size. I did get a size small, as you can see here. It is a little roomy, so I feel like I could size down to an extra small. Um, but what I'm worried about is I had done this with Lululemon before as well, where I sized down to an extra small um, for their Wonder Puff vest, which, by the way, I did not get. Um, but, you know, the armholes were just like a little too tight, but the small was a little loose. So I'm just thinking, well, maybe I'll just keep the small. Um, you can kind of look, take a look at it later when I wear it for you, but I do feel it's a little loose. So if you wanted to layer a little bit extra underneath your uh, this one, it would work. So I would say your normal size is perfectly fine. But if you want a more fitted look, I would say maybe size down a little bit. What's nice though is that they accept returns and they have like a 365 day return, which I think is pretty awesome. By the way, this video is not sponsored by Quince, but if they were, you know, I wouldn't mind. I think their products are quite fabulous actually but yeah so why did I get this color first of all I am in love with puffer vests I don't have one that's longer like this and it's also uh, material is really good so if we look at this material it says it's actually 700 plus downfill um, it's durable water repellent and it's using recycled materials so I really really like that I'm just reading from this little card here um, and it's a good quality material jacket right so how much was this this was a hundred dollars hundred usd yes it's a little pricey but really in comparison to like a lululemon or an aloe it's actually not bad at all um so i thought it was a great um it was a great buy considering the different amenities on here which we will go through very shortly um but yeah i think that for the quality the price point um the aesthetics it's quite nice now as you can see this is sort of like a black lined zipper i like this type of look you know, some folks might not. Um, it's a matte black. Some folks like hard, like silver hardware, but I actually really like the black. I think it looks very chic. Um, and then you notice that, you know, you could obviously um, tighten up your hood if you wanted to. What I like about this is that it has a fairly spacious hood. I have a kind of a large head, so um, a lot of hoods sometimes don't fit me, but this fits very well. Um, it has button closures here and also a zip which is quite nice and it has two pockets here the pockets unfortunately are not micro fleece lined so um they're just regular pockets kind of like a cloth material inside so not super soft but you know what's not bad um obviously you have a hood here and this hood is detachable so let me show you here you can certainly detach it this little zipper um you know feels it's smaller than the main zipper up here but it still feels very sturdy 
this main zipper, there's also a quick thing I wanted to mention is that it does have this kind of longer pull tab. So I don't know if you don't like that sort of look, but I like it. So I think it's fine for me, but just to let you know. And then when you look at the inside, it's obviously the same material, but you have another pocket in inside. It's a fairly spacious pocket. I can fit my entire hand in here. So if you have more valuable things that you want to put in here um, especially if you're using this for travel you know you could put those things in here as well so zippers are very nice and there's none on the other side here so just that one um, zipper on that side so this is what it looks like front and then back and what's nice is that there is no branding anywhere it's just very um, you know incognito so quite nice about that so this is the quince one that I just received now i wanted to compare that to the aloe one that i have here so let's take a look at it so for those of you who have been on this channel for a while you know from one of my videos a while back that i purchased two aloe puffer vests i don't recall the name exactly either but again i will put the the link in the description box below for you to check it out but i got these two and i got the same style but i got them in two different colors i got one in black your very traditional classic black. I got this one in mustard, like I was saying earlier. I have a mustard color vest and I love this color. So I honestly, I've actually been wearing the mustard a little bit more than the black, contrary to popular belief here that black is the more universal color. But you know, they're basically the same style, but I'm just gonna show up the mustard. I'll show you the mustard because it's a little easier to see um, because there's some color to it. Uh, but basically they're identical. Um, and as you can tell very quickly, it's definitely a shorter vest, right? This is a cropped look if you're going for that. Um, this is a very beautiful vest also. The thing about this one is I actually, I don't recall if this is um, filled with down or not. Um, <laughs> You know what? I'm going to put a little uh, blurb up on the screen once I find out. And obviously, when you look at the link, you can tell. I think, I don't think, I don't think this is down, actually. Is it? I don't remember. It doesn't really feel like down. But yeah, anyways, I will let you know. Um, but this is, I got this in a small. I think the small here fits true to size. Definitely not large. So if you were doing aloe, I would say definitely stay true to your size. Um, and then it has all its branding inside. The thing about this one is that the hood does not detach, so it is attached at all times. So if that's something you don't like, um, unfortunately, there isn't an option for that. It has, um, in the back, it just has its branding of aloe here, uh, very minimal. And then there are no in inner pockets here. So there's a difference there, right? A couple differences there. The other thing is, of course, it's cropped and it has a little bungee cord here where you can um, tighten and untighten the bottom part. For this one, it also did have a bungee cord at the bottom. So I forgot to mention that. So for the quince one, you can also tighten and untighten the bottom of your vest. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention was that here, oh yeah, so real quick, sorry. While it does not have that zipper pocket, it does have this like spacious pocket here. It's like a fleece um, pocket. So there's no zip to it, but you could definitely put something in here and you have it actually on both sides. So that's pretty cool. Um, other than that, I don't, oh yeah, so yeah, it's still zippers with button closures, the same kind of aesthetic there, but otherwise, this is pretty much aloe here. So, um, which one do I like so far more? Well, it's kind of hard for me to say because they're very different aesthetics, like I was saying. If you're looking for the more sporty vibe, a little bit more cropped, um, I would say this is the look to go, and this looks great. Um, I really like it personally. That one is definitely, the quince one is a definitely a little bulkier, so it's not as fitted a look. It's more for like actual warmth, you know? So um, I don't recall how much the aloe one was, but I think it was at least 150 USD. So 50, at least $50 more than the quince. And again, I don't think this is the down material, but again, I will have share that with you earlier. So yeah, a couple, you know, just a little quick comparison here and uh, let me go and model these for you so you can take a look at how they um, you know, appear on my frame. For reference, I am 5'4", about 121 pounds currently.
right, you all. I hope that helped a little bit. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it and found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions about these products, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. And I'm more than happy to respond. Um, and as always, please stay healthy, happy, and safe. And I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye. Thank you.